गुड मॉर्निंग एक्सेंसिस सेक्रेटरी ऑस्टिन एंड सेक्रेटरी ब्लिंकन इट इज अ ग्रेट प्लेजर टू रिसीव यू बोथ इन इंडिया आई फॉन्डली रिकॉल अवर लास्ट मिनिस्ट्रियल टू प्लस टू मीटिंग्स इन वॉशिंगटन डीसी इन अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू आई वेलकम बोथ ऑफ यू एंड योर डेलीगेशन ऑफ इंडिया द इंडिया यूएस बाइलेटर रिलेशनशिप हैज सीन ए ग्रोइंग कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ स्ट्रेटिक इंटरेस्ट and enhanced defense security and intelligence cooperation defense remains one of the most important pillars of our bilateral relationship your visit to india is at a time when india and us are closer than ever before in spite of various emerging geopolitical challenges we need to keep our focus on the important and long term issues our partnership is critical for ensuring a free open and a rules bound indo pacific region we look forward to closely working with the us across the domain of defense for capability building and for and for and providing partnership which can address emerging challenges challenges i look forward to an engaging and enriching discussions today now i invite my counterpart Secretary Austin to make his opening remarks. Thank you very much. Well, good morning. It's great to be back in India. Secretary Blinken, Minister Singh, Minister Jai Shankar, uh, we're meeting at a time of great momentum in the United States uh, and in and India. India partnership. In the face of urban, uh, urgent global challenges, it's more than important than ever. that the world's two largest democracies exchange views find common goals and deliver for our people we've made impressive gains in building our major defense partnership over the past year and that will help keep us help us contribute even more together to the cause of peace and stability we're integrating our industrial bases strengthening our interoperability and sharing cutting edge technology The scope of our cooperation is vast. As our ambassador is fond of saying, it stretches from the seabed to space. And of course, the strength of our partnership is rooted in the people-to-people -people ties that are the heart of our long-standing friendship. Together, our diplomats, entrepreneurs, and students are expanding our partnership in new domains including clean energy, artificial intelligence, and semiconductors. Our increasingly strong ties give us all hope for the future of this partnership and for our common efforts toward a more secure world. So I look forward to today, today's discussions and to an ambitious agenda that will keep moving our partnership into the future. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Secretary Austin. Uh, uh, colleagues, uh, this visit uh, is part of a intense diplomatic engagement between our two countries and its highlight this year was the prime minister's historic state visit to the united states in june uh, which has truly opened a new chapter in our relationship president biden's visit to delhi in september contributed immensely as well to the positive trajectory of our ties his support was key to ensuring productive outcomes at the G20 summit the dialogue today will be an opportunity to advance the vision of our respective leaders building a forward looking partnership while we construct a shared global agenda in the 2 plus 2 we will undertake as we have done before a comprehensive overview of cross cutting strategic defense and security ties technology and supply chain collaborations and people to people exchanges our meeting takes place even as we make rapid strides in all aspects of our bilateral agenda our trade is today in excess of 200 billion us dollars fdi is rising in both directions 270000 indian students study in the united states and we have a diaspora of 4.4 million We are exploring domains such as critical technologies, civil outer space collaboration, 
and critical minerals even while consolidating established domains. Raksha Mantriji has highlighted new elements of our defense cooperation, including industry collaboration and innovations. A key focus of our discussions today will be the Indo-Pacific region. As we all know, India and US are key members of the Quad, which is scheduled to meet at a leader's level uh, early next year in India. Similarly, we are also engaged in other plurilateral frameworks which reflect our strategic convergences, such as the IPEF, I2U2, and the recently launched IMEC. In context of the ongoing global developments, I look forward to exchanging views about developments in West Asia, Middle East, uh, and Ukraine, amongst others. Once again, I welcome you, Secretary Blinken and Secretary Austin, uh, and uh, Lord, both of you, for your friendship and for your support for our ties. May I now request Secretary Blinken to deliver his opening remarks. I thank you so much uh, to you, uh, to uh, Minister Singh, to my friend uh, Lord Austin. Uh, we're both grateful for your hospitality, for your partnership, and for this opportunity to uh, join you for what is now the fifth U.S. India 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue. Uh, when President Biden hosted Prime Minister Modi at the White House uh, in June, uh, both of our leaders set out a very ambitious agenda to build an even stronger uh, and even more comprehensive strategic partnership that delivers for our people, uh, as well as for the region, and we believe for the world. And together, we have been taking very concrete steps to deliver on the vision that our two leaders put forward. Uh, we are promoting a free and open, prosperous, secure, and resilient Indo-Pacific, including by strengthening our partnership through the Quad with Japan and Australia. Uh, one significant way we're doing that is by enhancing maritime domain awareness, sharing commercial satellite data with countries in the region to boost their capacity, for example, to combat illegal fishing, piracy, drug trafficking. We're also coordinating humanitarian relief and disaster response efforts in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, we're harnessing together the power of innovation to make our economies more resilient and to make our communities more secure while expanding inclusive economic opportunity. Uh, that's evident in the uh, cooperation on semiconductors and advanced biotechnology, on our unprecedented investments in deploying clean energy at scale in our countries as well as across the region, and our joint research and exploration projects uh, in space. We're bolstering our partnership in international peace and security, and specifically working to promote the uh, rules-based order and uphold the principles at the heart of the United Nations Charter, sovereignty, territorial integrity, independence, our defense cooperation, which we're strengthening again today, is a key pillar of that work. Finally, we're deepening the remarkable ties between our people, which is really at the heart of everything, exploring new educational exchanges, even building uh, on what you've uh, already uh, described, steps to facilitate travel between our countries, reducing visa wait times. Um, if there's one thing we've learned over the recent decades, it's that when Indians and Americans study together, work together, collaborate together, the possibilities for progress uh, are infinite. Um, it's that sense of possibility that animates our enduring focus on this partnership and on the region that we share. Indeed, this trip is part of an intensive period of American diplomacy in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, we are living, Secretary of Defense said, in an incredibly complex and difficult moment. No shortage of shared challenges that require our attention, require our determination, require our collaboration. And it only underscores how vital the U.S.-India partnership is and how important, important our efforts are uh, to further strengthen it, including through the dialogue today. Uh, so thank you uh, to our hosts. Thank you to our colleagues. Thank you to our friends.